Logan from with the Backwoods Institute. In this video, I got six fire starting aids that you can pack with you in your survival kit or you can use when you're camping. Anything that'll help you make a fire. Now, some of them are homemade items and some of them are just t tricks that I picked up along the way. With that, let's get started on our first one. All right, the first thing we're going to cover in a fire starting aid is hand sanitizer. All right, the alcohol content in here is excellent to catch a spark and to burn really hot and to catch other stuff on fire. You don't want to use like just rubbing alcohol on your cotton balls or anything because the actual alcohol, the only thing that's flammable is the vapor and then it evaporates. So then it's no good after a period of time. But the alcohol in here stays contained. This is just one of those little travel size things. You can either take a tender bundle and put some on it or I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now that's, how, that's about the size of my thumb right there and you can get this lit and then carry over to maybe your damp tender or something if you couldn't find 100% dry stuff. So let's see if we can get it going and we're going to be using a ferro rod and a striker. Okay. There you go. That's something to catch a spark really easy. And as you can see, it's creeping up that tinder bundle. And it's going to burn for quite a while because there's all that alcohol in there. And I can get my fire going off of that. Set that off to the side. But that's hand sanitizer. And it's hard to see the flame because it's daylight, but it's there. The next thing's pretty cool because everything's 100% contained. Now what this is, this is a strike anywhere match, rolled with toilet paper and dipped in can of wax. And this is how you make them. Now we're using strike anywhere matches. What you do is you pull off a piece of toilet paper, fold it in half, and that's the actual width or length of the matchstick here, and then just roll it up. When I get to the end, I just wet the edge and then fold it down and that'll keep it nice and tight until we get wax on it. All right, now that you've seen how to make them, what's nice about this thing is it's waterproof. All right, The candle wax seals everything. It also can make it harder to strike. So what you want to do is kind of use your fingernail when it's time to use and scrape the candle wax off the match head, the striking surface. All right, then once you get that done, you want to grab some toilet paper. You might have to use your knife a little bit, depending on how much candle wax is on it. And then start exposing some fibers, kind of like that. All right, and then what you want to do is you kind of want to catch the, the cotton ball, or the, actually not the cotton ball, but the, the TP, and then just let it, let it burn. And once it starts, I'm trying to hide the wind from it. Once it starts going, then you can set it down. All right, and then this will burn for a really long time. And you can add your tender or whatever to help get the fire going. All right, next, let me paint a picture for you. Let's say you're camping. Um, you only got a few matches left and you're having a hard time getting a fire started. Maybe you got some potato chips around, okay? These are Doritos, they work great. Uh, regular Lay's potato chips, Fritos, stuff like that. If it's got grease in them, they'll burn pretty well. So, all you have to do is get your Dorito ready, strike your match, and that's going to burn for quite a while. It's burning all that excess grease off of there, and it'll help you get a fire started. It doesn't have to be Doritos, regular potato chips work just as well. And then whenever you get your fire going, you can enjoy a snack. All right, the next thing we got, we got some fire starters made out of drinking straws. 
Now how you make them is you take a regular fast food drinking straw, kind of like the wider ones, cut it into three or four sections, you know, about three inches long or so. Take a needle nose plier and pinch one of the ends and take a lighter and melt it shut. And then whenever it's melted, slide your pliers all the way to the end and give it a little extra crimp. Then you can start packing your tinder. I'm, I got some made out of dryer lint. You can use cotton balls and Vaseline and just keep packing it down in there and then fill it up to where you can still crimp off the end and make the seal on the other side. You don't want it so full that your, your tinder is actually coming out of, out of the seal. You want it to seal up totally. And what's good about it, like I said, they're waterproof. Everything's sealed up. All right, how you use it is this one's going to be a cotton ball and Vaseline. Let me get this out of the way. But you take your knife, cut the middle of the straw, and then you open it up, and you pull your little tinder out of there. Everything in that straw is going to burn too. So then you take your ferro rod, your striker, or your match, whatever you want to use. All right. And then you just let it burn. Everything in there stays waterproof. Dryer lint does it the same way. This one's dryer lint. All right, there you go. That's the dryer lint one. As you can see, the Vaseline and the cotton ball is making a lot uh, more solid of a flame. That one's still flaming. I don't know if you can see it or not, but see it's catching but this one since it's got the Vaseline in it, it acts as a flame extender kind of like wax on a candle so that's a good option but you can use dryer lint too the next thing we're gonna make is we're gonna make what I like to call an envelope packet now how you do this is you take a strip of duct tape you know six seven inches long whatever and fold a tab over on the end and on the other end then you can take a cotton ball and kind of make it into a cylindrical shape like that and then lay it into the packet and then fold the packet over and then you want to seal up all the sides I got a little bit of cotton ball sticking out there it was a little too thick so I can take another piece of duct tape and I can fix that But whenever you put it together, make sure you don't have anything sticking out past there. Otherwise, it ain't going to be waterproof. So make sure you got a good seal all the way around it. The front as well, even though we got our two opener pack or, or opener lips right here, everything else is sealed. So now it's a waterproof container you can throw in your pack. It's easily accessible, and all you got to do to use it, open it up. Expose that cotton ball and the duct tape is actually going to help and aid into the flame. So I'm going to turn it around to you, use my ferro rod and striker. Alright, as you can see, it's caught the duct tape. Then you can maneuver it around to catch your other tender on fire. So that's another packet, uh, or another fire starter option you can use. The next trick we got is we got magic birthday candles. They're the ones when you blow out, they keep coming back. All right, so let's just paint another picture. You only got a few matches left in your survival kit. If you take these, you know, with you, what I like to do is to get them to the point. I'm gonna grab my lighter. When you store them in your survival kit, it can be really hard to get that very first initial. All right, that wasn't so bad. But before you store them, let them burn and watch for that little that spark to come off there because that's, I don't know what they got special into the wick or something, but 
once you see that first spark, you know that it's down to the part where it's actually going to be working some magic. Out right, there it was. Then what you do is just snuff it out. All right, you see how the wick's real flared out right now after I snuffed it. Now you can store it in your survival kit. Maybe you keep it in an out towards tent or something like that. But what you can do is you can stick that in the, the ground like a birthday candle. And let me paint a picture again. You're down to one or two last matches. So you get your match lit. You get your candle lit. Wind's blowing real good. Candle goes out, comes back on. Maybe you snuff it with your tender. All right, you snuff it with your tender. Comes back on, all right? So you get some more tender. And then you can build your fire around that candle.